Welcome into this week's edition of the Recruiting Roundup, bringing you the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting year-round. That's Jason Jewell from Scout.com. I'm Jared Cohen. And this week, we have the latest offers to bring you for players in the 2015 class as they continue to, to rack them up as spring football approaches, plus some big news in the Arizona high school football scene. Let's get right into it, Jason. One player in the 2015 class that we haven't talked about quite as much, but we talked about him a lot at the beginning, Chaparral's offensive tackle, Keenan Walker. Well, he's picked up a very substantial offer in the past week. Yeah, it was a Big Ten offer was offered by Ohio State. And being a former offensive tackle, I'm a big fan of Keenan. He's big, he's six foot six, he's 280 pounds. So he's put on 20 pounds since last year, and he's physical. He's as nasty of a guy as you're going to see. Got that Big Ten offer from, uh, from Ohio State. Jumping now from the Big Ten to the Pac-12. Jason, we've seen Utah really make an effort to recruit in Arizona. They haven't landed a big-name player yet, but they've still made a conscious effort of it, and they're continuing to do so with this 2015 class. They've added two more offers to players. Yeah, like you said, they're, they're moving into the Pac-12. They've made more of an effort to recruit the state, more you know, get into the Southwest recruiting-wise. The last player they were able to land was Clarence Smith out of uh, Yonker High School. Now he's an outside linebacker, was running back at Yonker. But they're making an effort to go after some defensive linemen, outside linebacker type players, offering Corona Del Sol's Cassius Pete and Hamilton's Caleb Pert. Both have multiple offers already, so I'm not surprised that they added this Pac-12 offer but mentioning that they are kids that could be defensive ends or possibly outside linebacker hybrid type players. Do you feel it'll take a player like a Pert or a Pete, say that five times fast, uh, to go to Utah to kind of start the domino effect for them? I think so. The Utes have had a lot of success recruiting here when they were in the Mountain West. Getting a player uh, with high profile like a Pete or Pert to, to come to their program definitely would bolster their recruiting in the state of Arizona. Let's go over to Brian Lewerke over at Pinnacle, the quarterback who's absolutely blown up since the season ended last year. Adds another offer from a school that isn't in our neck of the woods, Jason, all the way at the other end of the country at Duke. What is it about his skill set that has him so desirable from schools that really aren't known to come out here very often? Okay, a few things that I like about Lewerke. There's a lot to like, but he has a quick release. He's very, very smart, and while he's known as a pocket passer, he's also mobile enough, though, if the pocket breaks down, he can get out there and he can throw on the run. So Brian Lewerke adds a Duke offer. He's been getting offers from all over the country. Finally, the last one to bring you, a former future household name of ours turned offer machine, Matt Pistone out of Yuma Catholic adds his second offer in as many weeks. Yeah, it was offered by an FCS school. It was offered by Austin P. So now he has two, has South Dakota State, Austin P. I expect more schools to come in and offer this guy. I know North Dakota State might be the next one. And finally, Jason, that's it for the offers. Let's get into some news in the high school football scene. Longtime Arizona football coach Bernie Buskin announced his retirement on Tuesday morning. You've been covering high school football for years out here. What are your thoughts on this announcement uh, that came down? I was actually shocked when, when he called me Tuesday morning. Um, he said basically he, he's been spent a lot of time around football, wanted to be more around his family, be around his mom. He said he's having some knee surgeries and he has some grandkids he wants to be able to see. So he's going to step down. No issues going on in Basha. But it, it surprised me because he's talked so much about how good they've been at the lower levels, an eighth grade group coming in, and how they're going to be good in the future. So it kind of shocks me that he is stepping down. So that's it for this week's edition of the Recruiting Roundup. We've got big plans for spring football, so make sure you make note of it. Until next week, Jason Jewell, Jared Cohen, this has been the Recruiting Roundup on Sports360AZ.com.